Good day. As I mentioned before while launching my channel, that I will manage to show you different ways of teaching. So today, I've chosen to show you how to integrate technology in teaching. In fact, I have designed a sample lesson using the interactive board in class. This way, learners of different styles are engaged and 21st century skills are met. At the end of this video, I will support you with an activity that learners can apply in class or at home, present it, and even write an informative paragraph about it or sentences depending on their age group. Before I proceed, don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. Activate the notification bell as well. I usually start my lesson through morning routines. Students have to drag a copy from the days of the week list. For example, let us assume that today is Monday. I ask my kids, what is today? They should drag the word Monday and put it in the correct place. Then I ask them, what was yesterday? Students should know that yesterday was Sunday. All they have to do is to drag Sunday and put it up. Then I ask them, what do you think tomorrow is going to be? They should know that it's Tuesday. All they have to do again is to drag and leave. I have designed this page at the beginning to assess prior knowledge. Review with your kids living and non-living things to lead them to the targeted objective. So ask them to identify living things in a funny way. For example, have volunteers drag the images to the circle and then see what will happen. Let us start with the kite. Ask your kids, do you think it's a living thing? If they answer yes, then show them. Oops! It goes back. Ask them, why do you think it goes back? Because it's not actually a living thing. Continue the procedure with the bird. What do you think will happen to the bird? Will it stay in the circle? Let us see. Yuppie! The bird stays in the circle, so it's a living thing. Continue this procedure with all pictures left. Non-living. A living thing. A living thing. The spider is a living thing. No. Grandma is a living thing. The basket is not. The dog is a living thing. But the chair is not. Now sum up that living things are people, animals, and plants. Lead your students to label this image. Ask them, what do you see? They will answer, it's a bird. Then ask them to guess what might they find while moving the spotlight. Try to name the pictures. A turkey. A rooster. A dog. A penguin, a swan, a hen, a goose, and a little tiny chick. After that, reveal the spotlight. This way, then ask your students. What do you see here? They will answer, they are all birds. Lead your students that birds are animals and inform them that they are going to watch a video after that. Hello, I am Birdie. Look, I can fly high in the sky. My wings help me fly. I am hungry. My beak helps me eat and feed my baby. I really miss Robin. Robin! Robin! Are you there? Here I am, sitting on my eggs. What wonderful eggs you have! Take care, Robin. I am going to drink some water from the lake. 
Hello, Robin. Good day, Swan. How are you? What beautiful white feathers you have. Sure. Mm, my feathers keep me warm, just like your feathers. See you later, Swan. I am going to sing Sherp and Tweed. Ask students some comprehension questions about the information in the video. Ask them about the color of the bird, whether it walks or flies, how many kinds of birds were there in the video, and what are the characteristics of birds. After the video discussion, assess what students have acquired so far by matching captions to the appropriate picture this way. Let us start. Birds lay eggs. Which bird is laying eggs? It's over there, the bird on the tree. Birds fly. Which one is flying high in the sky? Drag to this one. Birds have feathers and wings. The swan has feathers and wings. Birds feed their young. Lead students and ask them, Which bird is feeding its young? This bird. Excellent job! Have students practice the targeted words about birds through this word search activity. All you have to do is to lead your students to click on the highlighter this way read the words, search for them, and highlight the words. L I will start with the word fly. Fly. Continue the procedure with all of the rest words. Feather. Feed. Eggs. Wings. And beak. Now, review the characteristics of birds and practice reading them with kids by clicking on this shape. A bird has feathers. A bird has wings. A bird has a beak. Most birds fly. Birds lay eggs. And birds find food for their young. Assessment time again. Have students read and fill in the blanks with suitable words about birds to complete the sentences. All you have to do is to have students click on the eraser image and erase the blank to check their answers. Let us start. A bird uses its n to eat. Beak. A bird has wings that help it fly. A bird has feathers that keep it warm. Most birds use wings to fly. Birds lay eggs. I have designed the final page to make sure students are able to read and write words about birds. All they have to do is to move the balls forward and backward on the abacus to unscramble the words. I will show you how. Beak. Feather. Eggs. Egg. Wings. Yes, is at the end. With. In. Wings. Finally, I have prepared a worksheet for you as an activity to apply. Cut and paste the correct parts missing to complete the bird. Now I will show you a very simple hands-on activity that you can apply with your kids. You can print out samples of birds and other animals. Then, 
prepare a cardboard, a pair of scissors, a glue stick, and colored pencils. I have selected this bird image and these other kinds of animals. Sure, you can select other animals and more. Then, color the images if they are outlined. Next, cut the bird parts and other parts of other animals. After coloring and cutting the images, this is what we get. Paste the body of the bird on the cardboard. Then scramble the other parts. Distribute them after this to your kids. Have your kids unscramble the parts. Let them select the correct ones. The bat wing doesn't fit. This is the bird's wing. And let them glue it. These legs do not fit the bird. These are the, le the legs of the bird. Let them glue it too. Finally, the bird still misses something. It's the beak. So let them paste the beak. And here we go. Hopefully, you enjoy my activity.